Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. Today we will discuss adding roles to the access and ID tokens using actions. To get started, the user will need to have a role assigned. In this example, I will use a test user. Navigate to User Management and Users on the Roles tab. If a role is not listed, go ahead and assign one. We can now create the action using the Post Log in Action script. Navigate to Actions, Library, and Create Action. Provide a name for the action and set the trigger to Login Post Login. Now we can copy the example Post Login script that is provided in the YouTube description. A namespace will need to be defined. Auth0 domains and web task domains cannot be used as namespace identifiers. The namespace URL does not have to point to an actual resource. It is only used as an identifier. It will not be called. Drag that new action into the flow and save your changes. When we log in with that test user and inspect the network activity, we can check the access and ID tokens. If we copy the access token displayed into the jwt.io tool, we can see in the payload data that the roles will be displayed on the access token. We can also see it on the ID token as well. That's it. You have successfully added roles to the access and ID tokens using actions. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.